In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Good morning, everybody. I'm offering this Mass for Barbara Burkett. We're reminded in the Gospel reading this morning that we are to be prepared for the times when we haven't prepared our lives for the Lord's coming. We pause and ask the Lord's mercy and forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you call your people to turn away from sin. Lord, have mercy. You teach us wisdom and write your truth in our inmost heart. Christ, have mercy. You forgive sins through the ministry of reconciliation. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever. Amen. to read it this morning I believe yes you need to speak up so people can hear you okay fine. a reading from the letter of St Paul to the Ephesians do not forget that you had no Christ and were excluded from membership of Israel, aliens with no part in the covenants with their promise. You were immense in the world, without hope, without God. But now, in Christ Jesus, you have used to be far apart from us, have been brought very close by the blood of Christ. For he is the peace between us, and has made two into one, and broken down the barrier which used to keep them apart. Actually, destroying in his own person the hostility caused by the rules and decrees of the law. This was to create one single new man in himself out of the two of them and by restoring peace through the cross. To unite them both in a single body and reconcile them with God. In his own person, he killed the hostility. Later, he, became, he came to bring the good news of peace, peace to you, who were far away and peace to those who were near at hand. Through him both of us have in the one spirit our way to come to the Father. So you are no longer aliens or foreign visitors. You are citizens like all saints and part of God's household. You are part of the building that has the apostles and prophets for its main cornerstone as every structure is aligned on him all grow into one holy temple in the Lord, and you too in him are being built into a house where God lives in the Spirit. This is the word of the Lord. Be Response to the responsible psalm, the Lord speaks peace to his people. I will hear what the Lord God has to say, a voice that speaks peace. His help is near for those who fear him, and his glory will dwell in our land. The Lord speaks peace to his people. Mercy and faithfulness have met, justice and peace have embraced. Faithfulness shall spring from the earth, and justice look down from heaven. The Lord speaks peace to his people. The Lord will make us prosper, and our earth shall yield its fruits. Justice shall march before him, and peace shall follow his steps. The Lord speaks peace to his people. Alleluia. Alleluia. Blessed are those who with a noble and generous heart take the word of God to themselves and yield a harvest through their perseverance. Alleluia.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, See that you are dressed for action and have your lamps lit. Be like men waiting for their master to return from the wedding feast, ready to open the door as soon as he comes and knocks. Happy those servants whom the master finds awake when he comes. I tell you solemnly, he will put on an apron, sit them down at table, and wait on them. It may be in the second watch he comes, or in the third, but happy those servants if he finds them ready. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Bless thee, you Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Bless to you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant us, Lord, we pray, a sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the heights. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the heights. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, 
we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Malcolm our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, for ever and ever. Amen. <coughs> At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give in this present age, and prepared for the gifts that are eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Thank you for joining me for Mass this morning, those of you here in church and those of you at home. Bye, God bless.